Hey everyone, welcome back to Channel 11 where we explore amazing places in India. Today we are going to visit stunning temples in Bhuvaneshwar, the capital of Odisha. These belong to the Kalingan school of art, which reached its pinnacle at the Sun Temple in Konark. But before we go there, we want to show you how this style of architecture evolved over time. We visit three temples, each unique and beautiful in its own way. Are you ready? Let's go. So what makes a Kalingan temple? Well, there are three main parts. The first one is the Reka Deola, which is a tall tower with a curved roof over the main shrine. The second is the Jagamohan, which is a hall where people pray and worship. The third one is the Nath Mandir, which is a meeting hall where people gather and celebrate. Now that you know the basics, let's see how these parts changed over time. Our first stop is the Parasu Rameswara temple built in the 7th century by the Shalot Bhavas, one of the earliest dynasties of Odisha. This temple is very important because it is the first one to have a Jagmohan. You can see the gap between the roof of the Jagmohan and the supporting wall. This acted like a skylight. It let in natural light and kept out the rain. The tower of the Reka Deola is not very decorated. It has simple pillars but no sculptures. But the walls of the temple are full of carvings of musicians, dancers and animals. Look at this one. It is Kartik, the god of war, sitting on his peacock. And this one. It is the Saptamatrikas, the seven mothers with Ganesh. These are some of the earliest examples of these deities in Odisha. The main deity of this temple is Shiva. He is worshipped in the form of a lingam. This lingam is ribbed with studs which may represent the Shailod Bhavas as they emerged from the rocks to rule Odisha. We now move on to our next temple, the Mukteshwar temple, which was built in the 10th century by the Somavamshi kings, another powerful dynasty of Odisha. This temple is very elegant and graceful. It has a unique feature that no other temple has, and that is the Toran or archway. This is the symbol of Ekamra art, which is the name of the ancient city of Bhubaneswar. The Toran is very intricate and beautiful. It has two pillars with carvings of female figures, animals and flowers. The curved arch has a crocodile head on each side. Toran frames the entrance of the temple and creates a sense of wonder. The tower of the Reka Deola is more developed than the previous one. It has more pilasters and some of them have sculptures of lions and snakes. The roof of the tower has four Natrajas or dancing shivas and four Kirtimuks or faces of glory. The Jagmohan is star shaped and has a pyramid like roof. The windows of the Jagmohan are perforated and have lions on top. Our final destination is the Rajarani temple built in the 11th century by Indrarat, the most famous Somavamshi king. This temple is the epitome of Kalingan art and architecture. 
The tower of the Reka Dula is the most elaborate and majestic one. It has many miniature towers on top of each other, creating a cascading effect. It also has many sculptures of gods and goddesses in the niches. The Jagamohan is also very on it and has a Naugat panel or a panel of the nine planets on the lintel. But the most striking feature of this temple is the images of the damsels and guardians on the walls. These are some of the finest examples of Odisha's culture. They represent the beauty and joy of life. The guardians are the Dikpalas or the protectors of the directions. So this was our journey through Kalingan art and architecture. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you want to see more of this style, don't miss the video of our visit to the Sun Temple at Konark. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.